I think somebody's been messing with our signs. Uh, this is supposed to be saying... Farming area. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode from the Unicraft server. Today I'm starting out over in the farming area that I have been doing a little bit of stuff in, in between episodes. Because this is where we're going to be farming moss, we're going to be producing bone meal, and we're going to be farming dyes. Now these farms are quite simple, they're based off of an old raceworks design, and uh, yeah. They're not super fast, that's why I made two of them. They are nicely fitting within each their chunk. I did consider putting them both on top of each other, but yeah. I didn't feel like it, so I put them beside each other. It's absolutely fine. It produces more than enough, and we have a little lever up there that we can flick to produce bone meal. And currently, we have almost a double chest of bone meal, which is fine. Now, the only other farm that I've started on is this, um, this dye farm right here. Well, it's just a flower farm currently. We have light grain, orange, and red within this little spot right here. And I haven't finished it completely. There's um, trapdoors here. It's going to be kind of the same concept as the one up there. So it's going to pop back and forth and spew some bone meal in here. And we'll get a whole bunch of flowers. Then the trapdoors will open on a timer, flush all the flowers out here. And then they'll come over here and we'll put them into a, a chest and, and start doing stuff to it. As you can see, we're in a flower forest. We have a whole bunch of different options and we'll probably make some too tall flower farms here as well just to kind of try to uh, put it all in the same place now why are we making all of this i hear you ask well in the last episode we figured out that there's a little bit of a gap in the market and there's not really anybody making prettification stuff so today i want to build the prettification station or at the very least i would like to get started on it because i think it's going to be quite a big build i would also like to get it stocked at least partially with some basic wares today uh but first we gotta gather up some materials gonna need a bunch of these oh wait i already have a shulker full of moss let's grab that uh this is very much a b00100 type build it is inspired by his moss shop from season 9 if you remember that so if it looks a little bit uh, similar to that it would make a lot of sense with that said though let's see if we can get the front completed we got ourselves a little shop well at least we got the front of a shop um <laughs> because of time and such i have um i have not been able to finish the entire thing which we of course will i'll probably do that on stream or between episodes so that we can have a look at it next time but i think this is a very very good start i really like this kind of design it's um like i said very much based off of b-dub's moss shop but with some minor alterations, of course, uh, to make it my own and make it kind of fit in here. We'll have it downstairs as well. But I would like to get an interior kind of sort of uh, half done today as well. So that we can start putting some stuff in here for the other, um, the other players. So that, you know, we can maybe earn some diamonds. Maybe, uh, maybe get a little bit of uh, profits to put back into our shop and uh, that kind of stuff and things. I'm thinking maybe we'll make some walls, put some shelves up, and kind of get this first floor presentable. Uh, we'll see what we do about that. I might make the lower walls here around the entire thing to kind of match this. And uh, we'll see. I'm going to go gather up a couple of more materials and then 
then we'll see what happens here. And with the walls kind of sort of done, I've started on the ceiling inside, and I was thinking we're probably going to do this as a a multi uh, store store. <laughs> How would you say that? A multi story store, a story store, or a store store? I don't know. Anyway, it's gonna have multiple levels. Okay, <laughs> so. I've been kind of playing around a little bit and I feel like spruce is a good fit. It's a little bit darker, but it's not too dark. It's not quite dark oak. I might use some dark oak for the interior around the shop, but I feel like this is looking kind of neat. We'll have these with slabs on each side, which means that it's going to look kind of like there are proper beams in the roof, which is, you know, of course what this is. And I think I kind of like it. And over here, I think there will be a staircase. Uh, we'll make that afterwards because you gotta be able to get up on the balcony. It's kind of nice. I haven't quite decided on how I want to do the the shop itself though. We might do it quite simple with just chests around and fill them with shulkers for the flowers. Not quite sure because I'm uh, I'm not thinking that everybody wants to buy like a, a stack of flowers. That's a little excessive. It's not very often you need that much. But anyway, I'm rambling on and I'm gonna finish up this ceiling and then we'll see what we do with the. Oh, I can. I'm gonna need more uh, more slabs. Yeah. But I'm gonna finish up the ceiling and then we'll uh, we'll see what we do with the rest. You almost got your shop set up. Looks pretty nice. Thank you. Yeah, it's just a front uh, for now, but... Uh, oh, a front for money laundering? Maybe. Oh, I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. Yeah, so I'm just making the the first floor now so that I can get some, some basic wares in before I do the rest. It looks really cool. Thank you. I really love the leaves, um, the color of the leaves in, in this biome. Well, uh, I'll I'll leave you to it. I'll uh, I need to set up my set for grief and just you'll, I'll see uh, you later. You'll uh, leave me to it, eh? Yep. Okay. Eh? Bye. Eh? Eh? <laughs> Sometimes I just can't help myself. But at least we kind of got a first floor done here now. I think we're going to need a mob to put in here to have like a store clerk. If you have any ideas on what mobs to use and also names, names, I'm gonna need names. Put them in the description and uh, we'll see. Maybe we can put that in next time or maybe on a stream. We'll see. And then I'm going to have to put a staircase in. I'm not quite sure how I want to do that yet. I'm going to have to fiddle around with it a little bit because I do want it to be possible to walk up on this balcony right here. I think it looks kind of pretty, but we're most definitely getting somewhere now. And after a little bit of AFKing over at the farm and running back and forth, we got some of the items that we're going to sell placed in the shop and as you can see I've also placed a staircase over here so we can get up there's nothing upstairs yet though but that's something that we're going to make in the future along with the rest of the build now over here I'm thinking that we're going to place all of the leaves and stuff for now I only have birch and oak leaves it's going to be a diamond per stack for now I'm not sure if that's going to change it might change because I might make a farm but we'll see how that turns out. It would actually be very nice to have a, a efficient uh, wooden leaf farm. But we'll see. Kind of depends on stuff. Over here we got the mix and match of flowers. We don't have... Oh, I've already sold stuff. <laughs> and I haven't even officially opened yet. Nice. Okay. So over here we got some tulips and sunflowers. And we got some lilacs and some peonies and some rose bushes and tulips. Well seems that uh, I've been selling quite a bit. Interesting. Well, not saying no to that. Over here we got some uh, bushes and uh, that's also a mix, any 32 for a diamond. And of course we got carpets, diamond for two stacks. Uh, I'm gonna have to stock up on carpets. And over here we got the moss blocks, they're also a diamond a stack, that might change. We'll see. Uh, you should probably change that to a diamond per two stacks, actually. Yes, let's uh, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's place them over here. Put them over there. Per two stacks. There we go. That's better. It's fairly easy to get these with a farm, so I feel like 
we want people to buy and these are some fairly good prices I think. Now we are of course going to store pots and a whole bunch of other prettification stuff and things, maybe some uh, some glow lichen and uh, glowberry bushes and that kind of stuff. But I haven't gotten to that yet. I need to set up some farms for that and uh, we're gonna need more bone meal. So I might might set up some uh, some more bone mealification stations over at the farming area. We'll see. We'll see how it turns out. It's the next week in real life and I'm back on the server after being sick for a little bit. But before I hopped on the server, I was actually told that I've been selling quite a bit. Oh my gosh. Would you look at that? I didn't have anything in these. No, I didn't. Let's see, what else have we sold? None of those, none of those. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, a little bit of this. Do we sell any more flowers? No. Wow, okay, 44 diamonds. That's actually quite nice. Gotta craft those into blocks. And I actually don't need to use that because we have an ATM over here. Real nice, 20 blocks. That's quite decent. Now the other guys are apparently quite keen on leaves, so I should probably do some proper restock of that, which honestly sounds quite good for stream activity. So if you want to uh, join me for some restockification, head on over to twitch.tv slash jackmcofficial and hit that follow button so you get notifications when I go live. So now that I've been on the server for a little while, I think it's time we talk about my plans for this season. As I've joined in the middle of an existing series, uh, you know, it will of course, I will of course not have as much time as everybody else has, but uh, you know, we still gotta do something. And of course, because of the shortness of the season from my part, I need, uh, I need to find something that is, you know, achievable, not too complicated. And not quite in the realm of the mega builds, but I'm, I'm quite fine with that for this season. I think it's good to have kind of a chill vibe and not stress out too much with the larger builds and all that kind of stuff. And as you may have figured out by now, I do have some health complications that sometimes interfere with my uploads. So there's a couple things to consider. But like I said, we gotta do something. So my plan for this season will be... Mountain Man. You heard it? Mountain Man. We are going to go find ourselves a mountain. We'll do a whole bunch of terraforming and we'll make a lovely little mountain society into the cliffside. And I think it'll, it's going to be quite fun. I did something similar when the new terrain generation first came out. And it has been something that I've wanted to do for quite some time. Now, as a mountain man, you know, that does of course come with a a whole bunch of things that I feel like we should be doing, like having a proper logging operation and having a bunch of villagers and, you know, that kind of stuff. Loads of terraforming, like I mentioned, and, you know, getting all of the stuff and things situated. And uh, maybe even make a tunnel bore, do like a whole bunch of uh, stuff and things to to get all of the, all of the ores, all of the mining stuff up in the mountains, you know. And of course, we'll do a lot of prettification, which goes very well with our shop right here. I would of course also like to know what you guys think about the idea. I would like to know if you have any input on what we should make, what kind of infrastructure we should have, and if you have any build ideas for... Oh, I'm out of... I, I need more scaffolding. Um, if you have any kind of sort of reference stuff that you think, oh, that would be cool for a for a mountain man cliffside build, uh, then, you know, send it my way. Leave it in the comments, give some ideas. It's probably going to be quite a bit of streaming, you know, with all the terraforming stuff and things. And yeah, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it. And I hope you are too. And as you can see, we now have an interior. Or, well, we actually, no, we don't have an interior. We have an exterior. I haven't really done anything about the interior. Now, it's not... 100% complete, but it is complete enough. We have done the walls. I've done a little bit of texturing on the outside. If we pop into free cam mode here, you can see that I obviously need to still texture the roof on the outside and we still need to build the foundation. But I don't think we will have time for that today because I am all out of video time. 
Now, however, next time we are going to find, find our mountain base place and we'll get started on setting up our own infrastructure, technological advancement stuff and things. Get ready to go. And I hope that you're as excited as I am for this new series and uh, what we'll be up to here on the Unicraft SMP. But that is going to be it for now. Bye-bye. Uh,